The University of Strathclyde is a Scottish public research university located in Glasgow, United Kingdom. It is Glasgow's second university by age, being founded in 1796 as the Andersonian Institute and receiving its Royal Charter in 1964 as the UK's first technological university. It takes its name from the historic Kingdom of Strathclyde. The University of Strathclyde is Scotland's third largest university by number of students, with students and staff from over 100 countries. The institution was awarded University of the Year 2012 and Entrepreneurial University of the Year 2013 by Times Higher Education. Entry into many of the courses in the university is competitive and successful entrance in 2015 had an average of 473 UCAS points. This means that successful applicants to Strathclyde have the third highest average score in Scotland, and is ranked 12th overall in the UK. It is also one of the 39 old universities in the UK comprising the distinctive second cluster of elite universities after Oxbridge. History the university was founded in 1796 through the will of John Anderson, professor of natural philosophy at the University of Glasgow who left instructions and the majority of his estate to create a second university in Glasgow which would focus on useful learning a euro specialising in practical subjects a euro for the good of mankind and the improvement of science, a place of useful learning. The university later named its city centre campus after him. In 1828, the institution was renamed Anderson's University, partially fulfilling Anderson's vision of two universities in the city of Glasgow. The name was changed in 1887, to reflect the fact that there was no legal authority for the use of the title of university. As a result, the Glasgow and West of Scotland Technical College was formed, becoming the Royal Technical College in 1912 and the Royal College of Science and Technology in 1956 concentrating on science and engineering teaching and research. Undergraduate students could qualify for degrees at the University of Glasgow or the equivalent associate of the Royal College of Science and Technology. Under Principal Samuel Curran, internationally respected nuclear physicist, the Royal College gained university status, receiving its Royal Charter to become the University of Strathclyde in 1964 merging with the Scottish College of Commerce at the same time. Contrary to popular belief, the University of Strathclyde was not created as a result of the Robbins Report a Euro the decision to grant the Royal College University status had been made earlier in the 1960s but delayed as a result of Robbins Report. The University of Strathclyde was the UK's first technological university reflecting its history, teaching and research excellence in technological education. In 1993, the university incorporated Jordan Hill College of Education. The university has developed its reputation and grown from approximately 4,000 full-time students in 1964 to over 20,000 students in 2003, when it celebrated the 100th anniversary of the laying of the foundation stone of the original Royal College building. In July 2015, Her Majesty the Queen has opened the Technology and Innovation Centre at the University of Strathclyde. Campus Since taking over the Jordan Hill College in 1993, the university operated two campuses, the John Anderson Campus and the Jordan Hill Campus until 2012 when the Jordan Hill Campus was closed and everything was moved to the John Anderson Campus. The centerpiece building has long been the massive Royal College building. Started in 1903 and completed in 1912. It was partially opened in 1910 and at the time was the largest educational building in Europe for technical education. Originally built as the Glasgow and West of Scotland Technical College building, it now houses bioscience, chemistry, and electronic and electrical engineering. The building is currently undergoing major internal renovation following the relocation of the pharmacology and bioscience departments to new accommodation in the John Arbuthnot building and the installation of a new heating system. Meanwhile, a new biomedical sciences building was opened in early 2010. It was designed by Shepard Robson, and aims to bring the multifaceted disciplines of the institute together under one roof. Sited on Cathedral Street in Glasgow, the 8000 M2 building is the gateway to the university campus and city centre from the motorway. 
the James Webb building has been reconstructed and reopened in 2014 after a serious fire resulted in many rooms being unusable. The architecture building, completed in 1967, is considered to be the best post-war building on campus. It was designed by Frank Fielden and Associates, Frank Fielden being the professor of architecture in the architecture school at the time. The Architects Journal magazine at the time highly praised this building for its restraint in the choice of materials and its organizational of the program within the constraints of a difficult site. In 2012, Historic Scotland granted listed building status to it, along with the Wolfson building designed by Morris and Steedman Architects 2012 also saw the 20th Century Society select the architecture building as their building of the month for September due to its cultural significance and enduring appeal. Equals library and archives equals, the Andersonian Library is the principal library of the University of Strathclyde. Established in 1796, it is one of the largest of its type in Scotland. It is situated in the current building. Situated over five floors at present, the Andersonian Library has more than 2,000 reader places, 450 computer places and extensive Wi-Fi zones for laptop use. It has around 1 million print volumes as well as access to over 540,000 electronic books, 239 databases and over 38,000 e-journals that can be used 24-7 from any suitably enabled computer. The archives are divided into three as follows. University Archives, the official records of the University of Strathclyde from 1796 to the present day. Includes the records of the Univers each year Euro unregistered trademark as predecessor institutions as well as the papers of many former staff and students and associated organizations. The university archives are a resource for the study of education, science and society in Scotland. Deposited archives, a diverse range of archives which have been acquired by gift or deposit to support the Univers each year Euro unregistered trademark as teaching and research. Special collections, rare or significant printed material and books, including the Anderson Collection, plus over 30 other collections spanning the 16th to the 21st centuries. Equals Technology and Innovation Center equals, the Technology and Innovation Center at Strathclyde is a center for technological research currently under construction in Glasgow, Scotland. It forms part of the University of Strathclyde's campus in the heart of the city. The construction of this centre began in March 2012 and is expected to be completed in mid-2014. This project secured AA £6.7 million funding from the European Regional Development Fund and another AA £26 million from the Scottish Government. The university itself is supplying the other AA £57 million needed to reach its AA £89 million budget needed to create the centre. The work started on the triangular, nine-story, steel-framed building in March 2012 with a completion date set in 2014. The facility will be built to Energy Performance Certificate a Euro or Euro Unregistered Trademark Rating Standards a Euro the Industria Euro Unregistered Trademark S Highest Energy Efficiency Standard. This 25,000 M2 space can accommodate around 1,200 workers from numerous fields, including engineering researching and project management from the university and outside industry. It will include open plan space for offices, three lecture theatres and areas for specialist laboratory equipment, in addition to the Technology and Innovation Centre, a 5000 M2 industry engagement building, which will be located adjacent to the TIC building, will accommodate around an extra 500 occupants to the already huge workforce at the TIC. This additional building has now secured planning permission. The research that will be carried out in the Technology and Innovation Center, by around 850 researchers from the university, is in the fields of advanced engineering and manufacturing, advanced science and technology, bionic technology, business engagement, continuous manufacturing and crystallization, energy, health technologies at Strathclyde, human and social aspects of technology, photonics and sensors, and asset management. The TIC hosts the UK's first Fraunhofer Research Centre. The Fraunhofer Centre for Applied Photonics and TIC also plays a major role in Scotland a Euro unregistered trademark as International Technology and Renewable Energy Zone. 
faculties and departments, the university currently consists of four main faculties categorized based on subjects and academic fields that they deal with and each faculty is subdivided into several departments which deal with specific academic and research areas. They are, the university delivered teaching to 19,960 full-time and part-time students in 2013-14, 14,040 undergraduates and 5,920 postgraduates. Another 34,000 people take part in continuing education and professional development programs. The university's main campus, John Anderson Campus, is located in the center of Glasgow, near George Square. Till 2012, the university operated an education campus in the suburb of Jordan Hill, at the site of the previous Jordan Hill Teacher Training College which it disposed of and relocated to a new building in the John Anderson Campus. In January 2012, the Anivas Ichia Euro Unregistered Trademark S Court also endorsed the recommendation of the estate steering group that Strathclyde moves to a single campus by disposing of the entire Jordan Hill site and constructing a new building for the Faculty of Education on the John Anderson campus. Strathclyde is the only Scottish university that offers the IET Power Academy Engineering Scholarships to its engineering students. Academic Profile equals rankings and reputation equals, the university ranks among the top 30 of the UK Research Excellence Framework League table published by the Times Higher Education Supplement, although it did rank much higher in a number of areas in the same newspaper article a Euro third in the UK for electrical and electronic engineering. Fourth for the combined pharmacy, biomedical sciences, biomedical engineering and speech and language therapy submission. Fourth for the joint research including mechanical and aerospace engineering, design, manufacture and engineering management, chemical and process engineering and naval architecture, ocean and marine engineering. Fourth in chemistry. Eighth in civil engineering. And eleventh for government and public policy. The Department of Physics has been rated the number one department in the UK and Strathclyde Business School is in the top 10 in the UK and number 1 in Scotland. The university is highly ranked among the top 10 in the UK in various subjects, namely being second for accounting and finance, eighth for oral and oral sciences, ninth for business and management studies, second for hospitality, leisure, recreation and tourism, fourth for marketing. 10th for mechanical engineering and 1st for medical technology. QS World University Rankings 2013 placed the university among the top 51 to 100 internationally for electrical and electronic engineering and pharmacy. The university is one of the 39 old universities in the UK comprising the distinctive cluster 2 of elite universities after Oxbridge. A detailed study published in 2015 by Vicky Bolivar has shown among the old universities, Oxford and Cambridge emerge as an elite tier, whereas the remaining 22 Russell Group universities are undifferentiated from 17 other old universities which form the second cluster. Equals research equals, in 2011 the Onivacetia Euro Unregistered Trademark S Advanced Forming Research Centre was announced as a leading partner in the first UK-wide technology strategy board catapult centre. The government also announced that the university is to lead the UK-wide EPSRC Centre for Innovative Manufacturing and Continuous Manufacturing and Crystallisation. The university has become the base for the first Fraunhofer Centre to be established in the UK. Fraunhofer Gesellschaft, European Euro Unregistered Trademark S largest organisation for contract research, is creating the new Fraunhofer Centre for Applied Photonics in collaboration with Strathclyde for research in sectors including healthcare, security, energy and transport. Strathclyde was chosen in 2012 as the exclusive European Partner University for South Korea Euro Unregistered Trademark S Global Research and Commercialization Programme Euro The Global Industry Academia Cooperation Programme, funded by South Korea Euro Unregistered Trademark S Ministry of Knowledge and Economics. In 2012 the university became a key partner in its second UK catapult centre. Plans for the catapult centre for offshore renewable energy were announced at Strathclyde by Business Secretary Vince Cable. The university has also become a partner in the Industrial Doctorate Centre for Offshore Renewable Energy, 
which is one of 11 doctoral centers at Strathclyde. Engineers at the university are leading the A4 million, Europe-wide star dust project, a research-based training network investigating the removal of space debris and the deflection of asteroids. Strathclyde has become part of the new ESSC Enterprise Research Center. AA 2.9 million pounds venture generating world-class research to help stimulate growth for small and medium-sized enterprises. The university has centers in pharmacy, drug delivery and development, micro and ultrasonic engineering, biophotonics and photonics, biomedical engineering, medical devices, new therapies, prosthetics and orthotics, public health history, law, crime and justice and social work. The university is involved in 11 partnerships with other universities through the Scottish Funding Council so Euro Unregistered Trademark Research Pooling Program, covering areas such as engineering, life sciences, energy, marine science and technology, physics, chemistry, computer sciences and economics. Several Strathclyde staff have been elected to fellowships in the Royal Societies of Edinburgh and London, among the ECAR Euro Unregistered Trademark S most prestigious honours. People. Equals students equals, there are around 15,000 undergraduate students out of which almost 4,000 are mature students who start their studies after gaining experience in the workplace, and almost 16% are overseas students from more than 100 countries around the world. Around 7,000 students are undertaking postgraduate studies at Strathclyde. There are approximately 45,000 students studying part-time in the university each year either in the evenings and weekends or through distance learning. The university also has an alumni population of over 100,000 and growing. Equals notable academics and alumni equals, Professor Matthew Charteris, taught medicine at Anderson's from 1876 to 1880. Sir Samuel Curran, inventor of the scintillation counter, John Logie Baird, invented the world's first working television, Thomas Graham, formulated the law of diffusion of gases, David Livingston, explorer and missionary, Dame Ellish Angioni, first female solicitor general and lord advocate of Scotland, Connor McBride, computer scientist, James Young, successfully separated paraffin wax, naphtha. Lamp oil and lubricating oil from oil, James Blythe, responsible for the earliest generation of electrical power from wind, Henry Foltz, originator of fingerprint identification, James Kroll, early investigator of climate change, Andrew Yeur, his research is believed to be the inspiration behind Mary Shelley a Euro unregistered trademark S novel Frankenstein. Dan Harris, Celtic FC in Premier League with West Bromwich Albion and Birmingham City, Jim McCall, Scotland's richest man, Eileen McGlynn, Scottish Paralympic gold medal winning tandem cyclist and world record holder, Sir Thomas Hunter, entrepreneur and philanthropist, Ian McAllister, Irish-Australian public opinion political scientist, Hugh Hendry, hedge fund manager, Sanjay Jha, former CEO of Motorola Mobility and current CEO of Global Foundries, Lauren Maybury, lead singer of synth-pop band CHVRCHES, Paul Barnes, East Sports Editor-Presenter on STV News, Tyron Smith, North Sports Editor-Presenter on STV News, Jamie Borthick, Sports Reporter on STV News. See also References External links University of Strathclyde website Glasgow Digital Library at the University of Strathclyde, Strathclyde Students Union website, Edward Seven Lays Foundation Stone a Euro from the National Library of Scotland, Scottish Screen Archive.